As far as performance, the 75 millimeter throttle body I've got here today is a good option for any of my 94, 95, five liter owners out there that are looking to squeeze every last bit of power out of their naturally aspirated or forced induction motor. Now, when it comes time for the installation, expect an easy one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here in about an hour job only needing basic hand tools. We're gonna show you how coming up soon. So when it comes to moving air into and out of your 5.0, there are a few general rules here, guys. Cold airs, throttle bodies, and air intake manifolds going in. You got long tubes and a cap back to move that all out. Now, some parts have a tendency to move air more effectively like long tubes compared to a set of mufflers. Just for example, now, if you are the five liter owner who's already done every air and exhaust upgrade possible, you're probably looking at where else you can squeeze out more power. Now that's where this guy comes in. Now while throttle bodies aren't modifications that make gobs of power on their own, when paired with the aforementioned mods, it really adds up in the long run and we're all hunting for power gains, right? So the Mustang's factory throttle body comes in at 56 millimeters and the SR performance bumps it up to 75 millimeter. Now, while it sounds small, it is a big step up in the right direction, but bigger doesn't necessarily always mean it's gonna be better on its own here. If your motor is completely stock, this is not gonna do much for you at all, but if you're investing in an exhaust pieces, an air intake and a manifold and other power adders, that OEM throttle body will quickly become a bottleneck. Now, this throttle body fixes that freeing up that extra air your motor needs to take advantage of the other mods. Now looking into the construction a little bit here for you, this throttle body is made from a permanent mold casting of 356 grade aluminum to produce a higher quality, stronger housing than a conventional sand mold casting, which reduces porosity. Now that basically means that this throttle body gets a harder and smoother finish. And speaking of finishes, this does have a really nice polished look that's gonna fit pretty well under your hood. Now it is worth pointing out a couple things here. One, it's not a tune required throttle body, meaning that you can simply install it and hit the ground running and not have to pick up a four bag eliminator chip, but we're always gonna recommend it here. Now two, this is more of a recommendation for me and everybody else here at AM. And that's gonna be just like I had said earlier, if you're gonna be doing the throttle body here, it's best to pair this at least with the colder intake to really yield those higher gains. Now, that being said, SR Performance's 75 millimeter throttle body option by itself only costs 150 bucks, which will make this the most inexpensive throttle body for the 94, 95, five liter at the time of shooting this video. And when it comes time for the installation, like I said a little bit earlier, you're looking at an easy one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and about an hour job only needing basic hand tools like a socket set. So you'll wanna start by removing the negative battery terminal followed by the hose from the throttle body to the air intake, then detach the three cables to the throttle linkage followed by unplugging the throttle position sensor as well as your idle air control. Now you can then remove four nuts holding the throttle body onto the intake manifold with a 13 millimeter wrench or socket. You'll then need to remove the factory IAC and throttle position sensor. And once they're off, it's gonna be a great idea just to clean the IAC with a little bit of carb cleaner while you're at it. Now you'll then install the throttle position sensor and IAC onto the new throttle body. So with a supplied gasket, install the new throttle body onto the intake manifold and then secure with the factory nuts and then torque them down to spec. You then reattach the linkages to the throttle body and plugs onto the TPS and IAC. Once you're done there, install the hose back onto the new throttle body, then reconnect your negative battery terminal. And after that, you're gonna wanna fire your car up and then adjust the idle by turning the idle screw. So if it doesn't change the idle, simply just adjust the throttle position sensor until you're happy where it's at. So that'll wrap up my quick review and breakdown of SR Performance's 75 millimeter throttle body fitting the 94 and 95 GT Mustang. That can be found right here at AmericanMuscle.com.